Hi ladies and gents, Pond here with another video for Rise of Empires, Ice and Fire. Thank you so much for all your previous likes, comments and subscriptions to the channel. If you haven't subscribed already, why not click on that button and ring the bell so you can get notifications of whenever I'm dropping content on the channel. And now onto the topic of this video and we are now into sign up week in Eden Wonders. Um, we are just a couple of days before getting on the maps and also being able to do seasonal recruitment. I will be bringing a seasonal recruitment video on uh, Monday as usual. And usually I would do a first day of the season um, video on uh, day one as well. But just to kind of make uh, my scheduling a bit easier on Monday, I've decided to do it now because uh, obviously I already did the video, the preview video on Wonders last week. Um, if you haven't watched that, then it is in the video description down below and I'll also be linking it at the end of the video. So check that out for more info on Wonders. But this is more just for a lot of you potentially uh, new, newer players who are in the younger states who just want to know what's go what's going to be coming up with Wonders because players in states 1 to 184 will already have uh, seen these kind of options menu available to us this week. So in events, let's have a look at... Reign of Chaos menu. So this is the Season X Eden Wonders for uh, those of us in the older states. We are getting the SX10 heroes, as I've already said, Poison Master and Healer L. Um, during troubled times, enemies um, turn oh, come and go, but points and interests are eternal. Through each faction started neutral, a north-south division has become defined in the pursuit of profits. War is on the horizon. So as you can already tell, uh, it is going to be a factions season. So similar to um, SX8, you, we, you will land on the map. Uh, there'll be matchmaking is happening now. You'll land either on the south or north, and you're going to have to uh, work with the fellow guilds in your faction, and it's just straight out one-on-one -on -one fight. You're going to have a winner and a loser, and then depending on your guild's rank within the winning or losing depends your, on your rewards. We'll have a look at that in a bit, a bit more detail in a minute. Usual sign-up instructions, so nothing different. Uh, registration can only be done by the Alliance Master and Overseer. After registering, the system will begin matchmaking between alliances. If members leave the Alliance or emigrate during the registration, their registration qualification will be cancelled. Alliances cannot be exited or disbanded during Alliance matchmaking. And members fresh, freshly immigrating to the province and joining the Alliance for less than seven days cannot register with the Alliance. So that is, this seven-day rule is still in effect. When the province... When the province a lord is in and the province the alliance is in are not in the same group in the season, the lord cannot register with the alliance. So again, this is uh, this is stopping cross province signups as well. Uh, joining rules during the event, lords that did not register can enter the ancient battlefield freely. Uh, upon entering, lords will be randomly assigned and teleported within the ancient battlefield. So um, if you don't, if you were moving alliance. Uh, earlier than the seven day cooldown or later than the seven day cooldown sorry you'll just end up on a random map so nothing new there on to season introduction so this is new uh, real magic comes with wonders appearing brilliant now um the wording here is not brilliant um as we know the developers are chinese and sometimes the translations aren't great so let's just have a read of, of what it, the background story is wars always come with painful memories on the land of magic however people have found a special cure magic the magic could help us foresee the future or rewind to the past. People are all waiting for the next wonder of magic to happen. Legend has it, the wonder of magic could expose us to the experience and knowledge from the future. With its inspiration, we probably could get rid of the troubles we are in. Recently, the wonder of magic showed us some buildings on an unknown land, impressing us with another mind-blowing surprise. So obviously these are the four wonder buildings uh, that you can access on the uh, ancient battlefield Eden map. And the surprise is obviously the buffs that they give. Uh, in the most recent Wonder of Magic, four types of exotic buildings popped up. Some believe they were from the future. Others said they must be something of the past. Most importantly, people found out the buildings were all wrapped up with magical halos from the outside. To their amazement, when someone constructed a building of the same look, it was also endowed with the same halo sometimes. Inspired for the, by the phenomenon, many lords with aspirations began to build similar structures one after another can they get stronger than others in this way looks like no one has the answer yet so obviously just hints to the fact that you do have to upgrade your wonder as much as possible and the uh, person with the highest leveled wonder on the map is going to be ranked one and um, gets the biggest buff from that wonder 
let's have a look at wonders. So the exotic wonder, as it says, wonders are available in the season. Statue of Night, Statue of Victory, Maui, Maui Statue, and Mayan Pyramid. The wonders are not only unique in design, but also offer various attribute bonuses. Again, those details are in my uh, in my wonders video uh, in the description down below. The attribute bonuses will be effective within the area covered by the halo. Again, information on halos is in the video and in the wonders video. Go to the exclusive page to build the wonders you unlocked in the castle. And as you can see, um, there's no kind of level restriction for these wonders. So then regarding the halo, halos shine upon wonders. Unlike ordinary buildings, wonders have higher level caps. The wonders level ranking will determine its attribute bonus. And for each wonder, the Lord ranking first and the wonder level will offer an additional attribute attribute bonus shared by all members in the same guild the ranking will be tallied regularly daily the top guild will get the blessing from the wonder together with a wonder thing castle decor which is the halo offering bonus to guild members within a certain range so that's all they kind of detail at this point in that season introduction uh, and a lot of it is a bit gobbledygook let's be honest uh, now let's look at season rewards so first off you'll see that we do have faction rewards again so winners are going to get uh, one SX10 ticket, one X2 ticket, and then two S1 to S4 random tickets. And the losers only get that one um, SX2 ticket and one S1 to S4 random ticket. So it is a bit of a difference. For, you get double the tickets effectively. And obviously, if you lose, you don't get that SX10 ticket. Um, so that's a bit of a bummer. Um, rankings, again, it is all about getting in the top 10 rankings, um, which should be easy, really, most most guilds do merge together uh, you can see that in the winning faction even the uh, guild ranked 10th will pick up sx10 tickets in their rewards um, for the top three levels of their rewards um, obviously the main thing as well for a lot of players is that honor coins that's only thirty thousand at that level um, so you're really going to want to be hoping aiming for these kind of top three or four ranking guilds um, 200,000 honor coins obviously makes a big difference to everyone um, decent amount of tickets as well uh, for instance powerhouse rewards in rank one you're going to get three sx10 tickets two more um, s1 to s4 random tickets and then three elite recruitment tickets along with 50,000 gems 200,000 honor coins and well 2,000 times 50, that's 30 million gold isn't it 200 million resources the big news again on the def if you're in the losing faction you're going to get half the amount of honor coins, always a killer. And then if you are ranked lower than, I think it is, yeah, sixth, then you will not get any SX10 tickets either. Um, so that is going to be, um, you know, really important. I think, again, that you do put, if you, even if you're up against people that um, you don't traditionally merge with, like, you know, I've talked about whether you should, um, merge with your coalition partners or with your faction partners that's going to be determined on who I guess you land on the map with but if you do decide to um, go on the losing side then there is a big difference in rewards season hero preview um, so we this is wrong this should be updated to SX10 um, but there are the two pools of rewards again for you to choose from and the big news for this season is if you look they have got rid of the three SX1 heroes in each pool. So if you're trying for this SX1 banner, uh, for the for the SX10 rewards banner one, this time you're going to have Healer, Hellfire, Ranger, Reaver, Warden, Liberator, Ragnar, Lawman, Reaper, Datch, and Tara. Uh, for me, I'm going to be going for this banner again. I still need copies of the all of these first six heroes, and um, Hellfire is really key. Reaver is going to be potentially key with this this new uh, with l and um poison master as well um i'm still after my last copy of warden so for me i'd probably be going for this banner one but let's have a look at banner two as well so as you can see these are uh, the old sx1 heroes have gone so this banner has got poison master lust angel fortune teller warhammer the adolan ashen scander valkyrie defender army breaker and avalanche so those are the two uh, banners that you're going to have to choose from to use your X10 hero tickets. I suspect on Monday when we have hero recruitment, it is going to be the same format as we've had since SX4, where the two SX10 heroes will be available, and then you'll either get SX1 to potentially SX3 heroes um, randomly as well. I'd really, to be honest, be I think it would be great if they could remove the SX1 and maybe put in the SX4 and SX5 heroes as options to get from SX10, because let's be honest, 
nearly all of us. I mean, out, I'm not a, you know a big spender, but from my rewards and previous recruitments, I've got all of the SX1 heroes maxed except for Sakura. I just need one copy of her. So yeah, it's not it's not obviously um, great having so small t chance to get. Uh, the heroes that you really want so hopefully the devs will do something about that and of course i'll bring that to you on monday in my recruitment banner uh, recruitment video i'll show you which banners are available at the start of this season and of course recruitment in week one of the season is always available from monday for the whole week and then we have the uh, mid-season recruitment and the end of season recruitment which is just from thursday to sunday if we look on the menu here as well, we do have development rewards. So one of the biggest complaints that everyone had from last season for those of us in 1 to 136 that were stuck in Reign of Chaos Total War, obviously the, the rewards were pants, let's be honest. That's me being polite. Um, Total War, you hardly had any chance to get tickets or honor coins. I know you were, you do have the ability to get honor coins from the um, seasonal tasks that were in the... Uh, foreign state so that did help uh, accumulate some honor coins but guild good thing about uh, eden has always been for the last few seasons the guild development and personal achievement uh, rewards that if you um mac well guild if you're in a active guild every guild will reach level 40 or beyond uh, that will give you another sx1 ticket 15,000 gems 50,000 honor coins and some gold 10 million gold um, if you don't, if you're in a really, if for some reason you end up in a small guild, you'd still pick up one S1 to S4 random ticket, 10,000 gems and 30,000 coins. And personal achievement is the same as well. So you'll need to be working through the seasonal tasks and accumulating your personal achievement points. Um, the levels are still the same as ever. So if you accumulate more than 10,000 points, you would pick up the S1 to S4 random ticket, 10,000 gems, 30,000 honor coins. But if you go beyond 15,000 points, then you would get this reward. You just get the one reward. Um, you don't pick up both. So if you get achieve more than 15,000, which is achievable if you're an active player, then you will get an X10 ticket, 15,000 gems, 50,000 honor coins, and 10 million gold. So uh, the potential there to pick up another 100,000 honor coins, uh, which everyone's gonna want for uh, purchasing their war badges and their super dragonite, plus probably some resets. And then of course, an extra X10 ticket for you to use in your rewards, hopefully pick up a hero that you want. So there we go, guys. That is everything in terms of this review uh, video for the season. Season. these are the options available to us and how the um, heroes are split up i will be obviously like i say bringing a recruitment video on monday and i will also do at least one week one video uh, talking about how we've ended up on our map who we're playing against and what our chances are of winning this season hopefully i'll be able to bring some um i haven't done many actual eden live streams so i'm that's going to be my aim for the next kind of two and a half months hopefully bring just some general gameplay live streams of eden to you guys um which it's, it's just easier and better to do eden than compared to ke um on the laptop so um yeah those are my plans for the coming weeks i hope you have uh, enjoyed this video if you have please do click on that like button and if you please share this video and my channel in your alliance chat province chat through line whatsapp viber discord whatever you use to communicate with your fellow players in the game that would be very much appreciated um i'd be interested to hear your comments uh, initial comments on wonders as well and also on how they've changed the reward banners for those heroes i think those are the kind of main talking points and the fact that we've got faction again so uh, yeah please do pop your comments in the comment section down below that's it for now thank you so much for watching and i'll see you soon